Hello, everyone. My name is Christy. And I'm Greg. And we're with Positive Creation Reads Some More. And today you may be getting a two for one. Yep, we may be doing two projects on today's live. All right. I found this cardinal uh, little uh, ornament here. It's not really an ornament, but you know what I mean. This little cardinal thing. And I thought it was really gorgeous, but I didn't really find the perfect thing to do with it yet. Well, when I was out and about, I found this um, this little, uh, it was actually a clock thing. The clock went right here in this little opening. The clock didn't work, so I took the clock out. I revamped it a little bit. So we're going to take this card out, and we're going to in, end up inserting it into this beautiful clock thing, which is no longer a clock. It's going to end up being a birdcage. So with that being said, I'm going to stand up, and we're going to get started. I hope everyone has had a beautiful and blessed week. So I took a little piece of styrofoam. It is actually four inches long. It is approximately, oh, I'd say about an inch, an inch thick. And I am going to put some um, of the moss just on the bottom side of this. So I, when they look at it from the bottom of this cage here, they're not going to see this foam. They're only going to see the moss on here. Hi, Rhea. Hi, Rhea. Thank you for joining us. Oh, let's put some, I am using my glue skillet today. It just has Gorilla Glue in there. That's usually all I ever use. All righty. Does it seem a little brighter to y'all? Yeah, is it much brighter in here? So Charlie Brown has been working on the light system. See, I just put a piece of that moss sheet on there. Now I am going to put some of the Gorilla Glue on the bottom of this. Even though I am going to use the zip ties with it, I just want to be double secured on this. Make sure it's not going to um, fall off of this piece of foam. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I found this, um, this cardinal. At um, Old Time Pottery. And I just thought it was gorgeous. However, I just didn't, I just couldn't find the perfect thing to uh, make with it. So now I found the perfect thing to make with it. And this does open up in the back, as you can see. So I will be working from the back side. And like I said, it has this big opening, this big round spot in the front. So I want it to look like a birdcage, more or less, instead of like a clock. Like I said, it, the clock didn't work, so I just took the clock out and revamped it. And we're going to make it look like a birdcage. Hopefully. And I have these two long black zip ties. I am going to put them around this styrofoam. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Debbie. Hello. Welcome, welcome everyone. Maria said yes. Kathy said yes. Sarah said hi, cute. And then Debbie said hi, yes, brighter. Yeah. Charlie Brown got me a new light. And I am using a black zip tie because. All right, I gotta turn it sideways. That's not gonna work. Because I am not double jointed. Make sure my cardinals, cardinals, bleh, I can't talk, are centered right. All right, let's zip tie that bad boy down. Get my pliers so I can pull it really tight. Is 
one bad thing about it being brighter is everybody will see me over here goofing off. That's right. They can keep an eye on you until you get back to work. <laughs> All right. I am putting two zip ties on this, one on each side, just to double secure it, just because. Like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially if we're going to ship this. So did everybody have a good week? Did anybody else get that goofy rain yesterday? I say goofy rain because the sun would come out. It would be out for like five minutes. And then all of a sudden it would just start pouring down rain for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Then the sun would come out again. It did that all day long yesterday. There. Now that's not going anywhere. And now you can clearly see right through that hole. Now we get to decorate. Now we got the messy part done. So I pulled out a lot of greens that I'm going to put in here. We're going to have the greens come out the sides, off the top, you know, through the back way anyways. And I do have a lot of berries. It's pretty much what this is going to be is like a lot of the greens and the berries. And now today it's 88 degrees out there and it's hot. I'm like, this is crazy. Crazy Indiana weather, I'll tell you. It was kind of cool out yesterday. Now I know some of the greenery is going to stick out the side and that's okay. I don't mind it if it does. I am bending up my greenery. I don't want it to be straight. Oh, that's missing a piece. So we'll grab a different one. All right, this one. This one will work. Did everybody have a good week? We had a pretty good week. It's been busy. I'll, I'll say that. It's been a busy week. That's all right. The busier <clears throat> I stay, the more I get done. I will try to be right back. All righty. Stay out of the light. Yeah, stay out of my light. Try to burn them. Try and push this one in more. There it goes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We had a busy, busy week. We did a lot of, um, been trying to get rid of a lot of stuff that we had that was excess stuff that was just lying around and we didn't need. So we got rid of a lot of stuff and a lot of the clothes that we weren't wearing. We take them to a lot of the uh, shelter places and give them to them and donate a lot of stuff. A lot of cleaning. Clean some of the junk out of the garage. Now that he's off on medical leave, 
had a bunch of stuff I hadn't even gotten up in Etsy yet. So I got that stuff up in Etsy finally. Finally starting to get stuff done. Feels good to get stuff done and be accomplished. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Cover you up. Go ahead. Cover me up. I'm used to it. We still have a couple of wreath kits left. Mm -hmm. So we just wanting to show everybody what we have. This is a tiered ring. Yep. Wreath I think, form. I think there's one of those. That's the only one I left of that. The other ones are the Dollar Tree wreath forms. Then we have this ribbon and each one is cut at five yards yep it's all wired and there's four different ones and then there's a red a blue and then if you can see that a white star in there also oh. and then we have two rolls of mesh We've got a red and a blue. Yeah. It's a royal blue. But yeah. yeah, if you guys can see that. And then last, we do have. the sign that goes right in the center of it. Center side, whatever. Yeah, where we'd like to put it. Yep. And we it have says land that I love. Yep. We have two of them left that has the uh, Dollar Tree reforms and then one with the tiered reforms. And, and there, that's it. There is, what is it, 18 Chanel's? 18 Chanel's with both kits. Yes. That way you can use that to put the mesh on and then the ribbon to be attached with it. Yep. So if anybody's interested, like I say, we still have just three left. One three with left. the tiered and then two with the Dollar Tree reforms. So you can, you can pick which one you want separately we still have some umbrellas left yes all right let's start adding some berries thank you mm -hmm. hi sherry hi sherry welcome 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 everyone Debbie said, I love the container and the idea is very pretty. Thank you. I've been, um, I know since when it started getting hard to find um, craft crafting supplies, I started thinking way outside of the box. And I'll tell you what, it has really got me looking outside of supplies, like for wreaths and stuff. It has got me looking like at secondhand stores. I know that sounds awful, but it's, I am really starting to think more so now outside of the box on different things like this. Um, I'm just, I'm enjoying this stuff more so now. Um, going to vintage shops. Like I said, this was the clock and the clock didn't work. So, and when I purchased this, they kept saying, no, the clock doesn't work. I said, that's okay. I said, the clock doesn't work. I said, that's okay. Didn't care about the clock. Took, came, brought it home and took the clock out. Threw the clock away. Didn't even care about the clock. All I cared about was the, the cage part because I knew I had these, these, um, cardinal birds. Cardinal birds yeah. Sorry. Sometimes my mind goes blank. And I knew that they would just be. I knew it'd be a little bit of a challenge to get things in here with it being a small space, but hey, it's worth it. 
Sure, he said there is nothing wrong with secondhand stories. You can find great things. Absolutely. That's where I've been finding a lot of my, um, like my um, things that we spray painted. And we put the uh, candle holders. Good lordy, my brain. Yeah, that's right. I've been working too much this week. And a lot of times when you go in those vintage shops or like the Peddler's Mall, like I was telling you guys, the Peddler's Mall, where they have different booths and different vendors set up in there, a lot of times you'll find things like this in there. And it's just stuff where people will go to auctions and they'll buy stuff in bulk. A lot of times they will bid on a bin and they don't know what's inside that bin. And they'll just take it in there and they'll just sort it out and put a price tag on there. And it's not stuff, something that they want. It's just they're just trying to get rid of it, make a quick dollar. So. Of course, you know, every time I look, Charlie Brown's like, what do you need that for? Why do you need that for us? Don't worry about it. I got an idea. There. Had to put a little pine cone in there just because. These are adding our berries. But when you start spending my play money, then that's why I've got question it. Listen, listen, darling. Listen. You don't spend your play money. I don't spend your play money too, darling. That's the way it goes. <laughs> I gotta have my play money. Now, now. Settle down over there. Settle down. All right, because it's tight quarters, I'm telling y'all, grab your pliers here. See, I almost said tweezers. That was called needle nose. Pardon me, y'all. Grab your needle nose pliers. Thank you, Charlie Brown, for giving me the correct terminology. Well, you're going to ask me later, so I'm figuring I'd just tell you now. Just pipe down over there. Use those to help push it in there. All righty. I think with that green and then those red berries, I think that just really makes it stand out and really pop. And this Sunday, we got the doll. I think it's something you'll all like. Enjoy. I'm good, so I don't have to paint now. No, you ain't got paint. And I believe I got everything for it, too. I'm pretty sure I do. I think this is going in. Let me get my needle nose pliers here. Did I say it right, Charlie Brown? Yeah, your pronunciation's off a little bit. Oh, good word. We'll let it go. Yeah. We know you can't talk. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. For sure. There. Even the back is looking good. It's looking full. We're going to get some more berries up in there. Get some filled in the front here. We don't want anything real big in the front. Who knows? Come on, glue strings. And if we have to, we can even use more of the moss to cover up the styrofoam in the front as well.
Charlie Brown? Yes. Can I trust you? No. I know that's right. So you should have even known before you even asked that question. I know that's right. <laughs> I was going to say there's a package of boxwood right there. I can look, look, look. It's right there. Yes. Do not knock that entire thing over. Just hand me that package of boxwood. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. You need just a little bit more up here in the front. And these fell out, but it was not my fault. I know it's your fault. You knocked them over. I know. I get it. Can't have nothing with you around. <sighs> all right. So we need one more. Get the green. And I'm just setting these on top because I ain't trying to push them in there. All right. Just set them on top. I'll take care of the rest, dear. Yay. Yay. All right. Are those comments? I can't tell. I think so. I can't see. I can't see that far away. And if you're new, let us know that you're new and let us know where you're watching from. And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to follow us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get notified every time we go live. Yes. All right. I am loving the way this is turning out. I think we need some more berries, though. Hi, Joan. Hello, hello. Welcome. Sherry said, Charlie Brown, you're a little sassy today. <laughs> isn't he? Isn't he, Sherry? I'm telling you. Well, all I got to say is I spent the whole day with her, so she made me this way. Shh. <laughs> I didn't give you enough to do list. Whatever. That's the problem. Uh-huh. That is the problem. He didn't have enough to do today. Whatever. I took it easy on him. All right, y'all. I sent him to the grocery store. What day was that? Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? I don't remember. I think it was Wednesday. He said, well, I don't know what to get. I should, I should have known better. I should have given him the grocery list. I said, this is what you do when you go grocery shopping. You, this is how I do it. I get a little bit of what you like. I get a little bit of what I like. And that's how I do it. Because there's certain meals that you just love, and there's certain meals that I love. So I take that into <clears> consideration. <throat> for shopping he said okay I said you know what meals I love and I know what meals you love he said okay well I had to go into a little procedures nothing major nothing major okay so while I was in for my procedure because he couldn't come in there with me you know they're still doing the whole oh it's COVID it's COVID you know I'm like whatever um no that's not what they were saying what's wrong with me um Anyhow, I sent him to the grocery store to get a list. When I got done with my procedure, he came back to get me. He said, you're going to be so happy, honey. I got pizzas. I got pizza rolls. I got, um, what, what else? I got you some Brussels sprouts. Yeah, he goes, but I did manage to get you some Brussels sprouts. And I go, okay, besides my Brussels sprouts, what else did you get? He goes, um, yeah, he got like, um. Pizzas, p uh, pizza rolls, all that kinds of stuff that he knows I'm not gonna eat. But he was at least nice and got me some Brussels sprouts. I was like, well, okay. Praise the Lord, you got me some Brussels sprouts. I said, was there any other vegetables that you got? And he goes, well, I got you your Brussels sprouts. Wow. She's so picky. She says I'm real picky about what I eat. And I eat just about everything except vegetables. Yeah, vegetables. That's the thing you will not eat. She is picky about her vegetables and all that stuff. Because there's been times I thought, okay, well, she likes this. I'll get or bring it home. And she's like, well, I don't get that kind because of this. <laughs> so I'm real weary because I'll end up getting the wrong stuff. 
in that. And I told her, don't get the opportunity to go to the store <laughs> because, you know, I'll try and pick out things you want and I'll try and pick out things that I want and things that we both, I know we both will eat and that. And that's what happens. Yeah. Pizza rolls and. But I want to give a shout out to Shelly. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Oh. Hi, Shelly. Thank you. And she said, hey, hey, my friend, decent embellishments at secondhand stores. Absolutely. Yes. And she said, yeah, yeah, your money is her money. That is the golden rule. Now, now, take, That's it, easy. Right. take it easy. That's <laughs> right, Shelly. And then she said, you two are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you caught a slide. Yes. <laughs> and Shelly, you're going to be one of our new best friends. <laughs> Now, I got to bounce back and forth between YouTube and Facebook. So, if I miss any comments, I apologize. We do go back and read every comment, and we do answer back to. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask the questions. And if we and do not get to it right now during the live, we will answer any questions after the live when we go back through the comments. And that's my cue to say, Ask away, ask away, ask away. <laughs> Bomb him with questions. Go ahead. She loves it when I sit there and go through all the comments and that and answer. Oh, yeah. I like that in there. Just go ahead and bombard him with them questions. Go ahead. Comments. Anything you want to say, just go ahead. Feel free. Hi, Steve. Yeah. Debbie. Hello, hello, welcome. Sherry said, you guys are too funny. Steve said, that's going to be beautiful. Thank you. I really like doing things that are different and unique. Things that you don't really see. Shelly said, I'm already there. You are in my group, but we met in Lori's group. Ah. Yeah, I kind of. Did you go to the retreat down there in Nashville, Shelly? We may not get the two for, if not, we'll save that project for Monday because I know you guys will like it on Monday. Because I keep adding to this because I'm just enjoying this. The other, the other one will be awesome too, I promise. Well, you're at 2750. Oh, well, then we may get to it. I don't know. I'm just loving all this like red and with this green. I think it's turned out really, really beautiful. She said, no, unfortunately, I did not, but I'm hoping to get to one next year. It, it was a lot of fun. You get to meet new people and stuff. You get different ideals and talk with people, and it's more personal. I don't think I'm going to be able to go to the one in the fall. I think it's the fall or something. I don't believe I'm going to be able to go to that one, but hopefully next year. They don't believe I'll be done with treatment by then, so. I'm trying, but I don't think I'll be able to. Bleh. All right. You know, I could stand here and add these. Little. All day long. I know because I it's just so much fun. You could add as much or as little as you want. And I am just loving this. There's another little piece right there. 
Whoops. There goes everything. I'll get it. Well, thank you, kind sir. I need to get up anyway and make it look like I'm doing something. I know that's right. Get up off that dust. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, she's stuck in Oregon. Oh, my. Welcome, just peachy designs. That's Deb. Oh, is it? That's Debbie. Oh, okay. Didn't know you are on both. Yep, we're doing both. We just started doing both. We kind of started. I don't know that. how you want to say it. We got lucky and figured it out. <laughs> yeah. So, because I kept trying to go on the phone to do it and it kept telling us, oh, you got to have a thousand subscribers. Well, we're not a thousand yet. Not yet. And then Christy sat there and told me one evening, she goes, well, if we deal with the computer, we don't have to have a thousand. Yeah. So we got the tablet out and started playing around with it and figured out, oh, we can do it with the tablet. So we're able to go live now. Yeah. So. And then Shelly said, I really wanted to go when y'all went to Myrtle Beach. Yeah, I didn't get to go to Myrtle Beach either. Yeah, All she right. really wanted to go for that one. Oh, yeah. All righty, there we go. Now, I do have a bow. This is where y'all come in. Let me know what y'all think. I have not trimmed any of the tails. As you all know, I do not trim tails until the bow is actually on the product or the project, I should say. Um, and the reason why is because I may want the tails long or I may want them short. So that's why I do not trim my tails until after I attach it. So what do y'all think about the bow being on the top here? Can y'all even see that? Or should I just leave the bow off of it? I think the bow gives character. More character. I think. Now, I don't remember who you said it was, but just Peachy Designs. That's Deb. 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 She said she can get us on both. So she can get us on YouTube or Facebook. So. Ah. All righty. So what do y'all think about the bow? It does have the cardinal ribbon in there, and it has the um, buffalo check. Sherry sure, said love it. All right. Love it. We will put it on there. Because I wanted to put it up here on the handle to kind of spruce this top up here. Because it just looks so plain. Could uh, have bedazzled it up. I could have bedazzled it. <laughs> have you recovered from your trip, Sherry, since you've been back? And I did use a zip tie. And I'm going to zip tie it onto the top here. As soon as I find the other end. There it is. Maria said, like the bow. All righty. Everybody likes the bow, so we're going to put it on there. Shelly said, love that bow. That bow. All right. Let's put it on there then. I forgot it lags. The I say, what do you guys think about the bow? And then yeah. it lags, so I forgot. And these are on YouTube that I commented back on. Okay. Because I'm trying to flip back and forth here. Yeah, yeah. And Sherry said yes. Yes to the bow. Yep. All righty, we're using the bow then. Definitely now, because it's zip tight on there. Flip the ends. And we'll spread it out. That way it doesn't look pretty like wampus. Then we'll trim all the ends. I'm kind of made my caddy. I don't 
I think I'm going to dovetail this. I know, right? Surprising. What? I did not say a word. I'm talking to my viewers. Sit over there and oh, pipe down. Bad, my bad. Hey, nobody ate your chain over there. My bad. I'm just saying, keep quiet then. Hey, nobody ain't your chain. Debbie said, very pretty. Thank you. And you know, this doesn't really scream Christmas more, more or less. It doesn't scream Christmas. It's just, this could be a centerpiece that you could leave set out all year long. And I know there was a meaning behind um, the Cardinals. So it gave Charlie Brown some homework to look it up what the meaning of Cardinals is. If you see a cardinal, what does it mean? Let's see if he remembers what it means. Are you yanking my chain now? I'm yanking your chain. You can speak <laughs> now, boy. Uh, let's see if I remember. Let's see if you remember. Do you even remember? Heck no. I have too many other things okay. I'm doing. Because I know it talked about... It means... um. Like prosperity, wasn't it? Mm, like you prosper with with your family yeah. and that, and in love, and with your occupation. Yeah. And just everything that, more or less, layman's terms. Good luck. You have good luck if you see a cardinal. Hmm. I'll be out hunting for them next time. Here, Cardinals. Here, Cardinals. Uh -huh. So I said my in-laws would love it. They're Cardinal fans. Yep. Oh, there yeah. You know. We're having a Christmas in July here in our little community at the end of July. And I know it's not really, it doesn't look, look like so specific into Christmas but it kind of has that Christmas feel so which is what I was going for so I wanted to do something I don't have a lot of Christmas centerpieces so I thought well let me do this and see what comes of it Sherry did say she recuperated good after her trip I'm glad to hear that Sherry Some of these I'm dovetailing and some of them I'm not. I'm just going to leave them. Why? I don't know. Yeah. Just something different. Just to be different. <laughs> I like being different. Let's see. What else? Oh, that one's already folded. That one's folded. That one's not the tail. Let's see. I almost got that wrong. You need to quit talking to me. I didn't do nothing. When all else fails, just blame Charlie Brown. But he said someone in heaven is looking out for you. Is that what it is? Then. <laughs> What? You're laughing what? Nothing. Go ahead. Speak. No. What? We need to see my Cardinals. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> there. All righty. So there's our project number one. All right. You still got time, right, darling? Uh, I believe so. All right. That didn't take very long. Sure I didn't said, think that's what I was always told. Yeah. All righty. Now we can move this off. To the it's, side. it's been so long since my mom has told me what Project a lot of that stuff one. means. But. All right. Done? Yep. I'm done with that. Send it right here. 
Fun little ball. So no, not really. Okie dokie then. Okay. Now we're done with all this stuff. Sure, it's got turned out so cute. Thank you. We'll put them in that box and I'll put all that stuff in later. Okie dokie then. I actually got a box setting right there. I put everything in it and then I put it all away later. Debbie said yes. And then I have a backyard full of them in the All right, I need that roll right there. This one? Nope, underneath of it. Yep. I'm going to sneak a drink here. Let my whistle. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. All right, this is 21 inch mesh. This is a Dollar Tree wreath frame, wreath form. And this was, um, uh, good lordy, there goes my brain. Yeah, it's a pine. It was on a, um, it was on a different form and I took it off because it was all messed up and I took it off and I ended up using schnells on a different form. I didn't use this, and I thought, well, I don't want to throw this away because it's still good, even though it was all messed up. So I'm going to use it for something else. So I'm using it for this. It's just a different way of doing something different, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Okay. I am going to take a zip tie, a small one. I bought a tiered wreath form is what it was. And when I got the tiered wreath form, they must have did the, rear, the tiered wreath form in a hurry because they had two of these, two of these like side by side or they would have four of them in one spot. So I had to take it all apart. And I thought, I'm not gonna put this back all on the tiered form. I just used some Chanel's. So that's how I ended up with this. And instead of putting it back on the tiered form, I just used Chanel's and I just saved this and I used it on the Dollar Tree 14 inch frame. So instead, I'm going to do something else with it. So that's how I ended up with this. And I'm not making a wreath, I promise you, even though it looks like it may be, it's not. Ugh. Okay, now let me cut off all this excess. Excess. There's that. Do with it to try and use it up. Because I know a lot of people don't use the 21 inch mesh a whole lot anymore. All right. I'm not going to use a lot of this mesh, but I am going to use some. I am going to do, oh, can I do five? Nope. I guess we are going to do 10 inch poofs. I usually don't do 10, but we're going to do 10. Just because. And yeah, I did skip that first one. Get over here. we get time to finish this. If not, we will finish it on Sunday. There we go. I'm tired of it rolling back up underneath me. I'm tired of fighting. Here's 44.25. Of course. 
And I did put that on the inner ring, the inside ring, inner ring, whatever you call it. back on. I don't want to smell your feet. They stink. They don't stink at the chair. Whatever. Water. Uh, Just pop off skins. Back around to the beginning. Here it is at the beginning. I'm only pissing that once. It doesn't have to be really tight. We're going to add more stuff into those ties. Okay, let's just drop it down. I was going to cut it, but we'll just drop it down. It'll go faster. And if you're new to our channel, then we want to say welcome and that, and if you'd like. You know, Yep. Come on, get. Sometimes my fingers get in the way. Sarah said, so cute. Thank you. Well, that tight. Clip it. I'm just going right before this next tie. Put a zip tie in there to hold it down. I'll skip this first tie and go to the next one. And I'm still going to do 10 on the bottom. And it's not even on the bottom. I didn't even go on the bottom. I went to the next one up and zip tied it around that. Shall we say, miss seeing them. Saw them all the time when we lived in Indiana, Cardinals. Oh, yeah. And I'm doing a 10 inch poop right here on this side, too. Like I said, I'm just going kind of fast on this. I didn't even think to grab any ribbon or anything. I didn't know how long it would take to do the other one. Before we move down to southern Indiana, when we was in northern Indiana, we used to um, see them all the time. Hi, Susan. She said hi. Can you talk in Missouri? Well, hi, Welcome. Susan. Welcome. Glad to have you. We always enjoy hearing from new people and where they're from and yeah. It's really exciting. We try to give you guys an hour of fun. Fun and laughter. Except she didn't yank my chain, so. Y'all, I'm telling you what. <laughs> then Linda, hi from Louisiana. Well, hi. hi. Welcome, Linda. Yes. We finished one project, and we're kind of going really fast on the second one. Um, but don't worry, y'all can go back through and watch the replay. I promise. We don't never take down our videos. This is just a 21-inch mesh, and we may not have enough all the way around. We may, may not. Yeah, I think we will. We're just using up some 21 inch mesh. We're not making a wreath, I promise. It looks like it, but it's not gonna be a wreath, I promise you. Can y'all see this? This is another reason why I took it off. Oh, that's probably ties. Never mind. Yeah, I'm wearing my glasses too. Yes, yes. Uh, let me take these staples out. Oh, 
I think somebody's vacuuming. I believe it's Jeff. Uh, probably so. All right, if you're new to our channel, don't forget, if you're on Facebook, don't forget to hit the follow button. That way you'll get notified every time we go live. Um, if you're on our YouTube YouTube channel, yes. Hit that subscribe button. Yep. And I'm going to say it, and she's not going to like it, but on Facebook, if you would, sprinkle for us. And Facebook, please close your ears. But YouTube, hit that share button, please. Yeah, say it anyways. What are they going to do? Tell me to pop it. Right? <laughs> All righty, we're back to the beginning. We had just enough. And they're not as poopy on the last ones, but that's okay. It is what it is. Okay. We made it all the way around. We're going to put a zip tie on this and tie it underneath. And it's big and poofy, so that's what we wanted. And that's good enough. Okay. I'm going to tuck this under. I'm going to zip tie it like so. That made me sweat doing that. Ooh. And all these lights on. Ooh, I'm really sweating. Get in there. Is it tiny and down? Now, this is the point where you can do many different things. Okay. You can take a piece of styrofoam and you can put it in here and make it fit really tight. And then you can also take the styrofoam and attach it to your, to your roof form. But for time's sake, I'm not gonna do that. I have this rose gold candle thing. I'm just gonna set it in there for now, just for time's sake. Now, you can take this. How much time we got, Charlie Brown? We have 53 minutes. Uh, we have 53 minutes left? No. Oh, we're at 53. We're at 53. Oh, I thought you said we had 53 minutes. I was like, what? We got all that time and I was working like like really fast. Oh, my I goodness. I just want to see how fast she can do it. <laughs> that boy. Oh. Anyhow, this can make another centerpiece. Like I said, if we don't finish it today, we can come back Sunday. We can finish it after we do our Dollar Tree DIY because that project's going to be really, really fast, I promise. So we can finish this and you can put ribbon in here in these ties. You can put florals in these ties. Um, whew. I think that greenery and the berries I just threw over there. All this? Yeah, throw it back at me. Go ahead. Oh, I can throw it? Don't throw it. Just just, just lay it down nicely. Like that. I'm afraid to go put my eyeball out. And there goes that ball again. Anyhow, you can take things like... Um, See like this red thing here you can put a little glue on this and you can put it down in there like so see that i don't know if you can see that or not but anyhow you can put little things in here glue for my covers. um we can add some melinda said pretty thank you and I will get a piece of styrofoam cut for this for Sunday so we can finish it Sunday. But at least we got the hard part done. Oh, my goodness. He made a mess out of all my stuff. No, it's probably me. But anyhow, <laughs> but anyhow, since he's sitting there, we're going to just blame Charlie Brown. And you can put the red and the gold together like that. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there's red and gold there. Then we can take some of this red here we can put that in there with it and it would pop against that rose gold and then we have the gold the rose gold candle holder let me see if i can cut a different piece of greenery to put in here i like this boxwood it's a nice filler 
Taste, taste. Oh my goodness! Please don't taste the box with. Oh my goodness! It wasn't me. Oh, Charlie Brown, you overworked my brain. You can take some box wood and put that in there, and you can also add some of these bigger berries in there with it as well. Oh goodness. Over there. And now, <laughs> you don't make me mad. You act like Charlie Brown there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so we got these big berries, big berry balls that we can put in there like that with that greenery. Add some color to it. I don't have any. Um, Christmas florals. So we have some little, another little, get up there. like these little pines that we can put in there as well and go around and do different things. Like I said, I'm not gluing any of the stuff down. I will go through all my stuff and we can go through there and see what we want to put in there. And this can be another centerpiece for Christmas. So, we will finish this up on Sunday, like I said, and this is a candle holder, and this is rose gold, and then this is the yellow goldish that would reflect off of it. We'll finish this on Sunday where we can actually finish it the right way. Does anybody have any questions before we end? No, no questions right now. All righty. Well, we will be back on Sunday, like I said, at 7.30. Sunday, we're at 7.30 p.m. <clears throat> Eastern Time. And we got a Dollar Tree DIY. Like I said, it's a really fun DIY craft. Let me move this over so I can sit down and look at y'all. Um, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we will be back. And we got a Dollar Tree DIY. Really fun. Um. It won't take long at all to do that one. It's really easy. And then when we get done with our Dollar Tree DIY, we will finish up this, this gorgeous thing. And I will go ahead and get a piece of styrofoam cut so we can keep that centered there. And we'll finish up our centerpiece and we'll get everything attached permanently. So until then, y'all have a blessed weekend and be kind to one another.